Hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to uh, another uh, episode series here, and uh, this time uh, I got here the 12-inch uh, double bevel sliding compound Meyer saw. So the box is bigger. Have you seen my previous uh, episode series? You've probably seen me do the 10-inch uh, compound sliding compound Meyer saw. And uh, so I'll put a link onto that if you want to if you want to see that. But if you're here for the 12, uh, don't even bother. Go ahead and just uh, keep watching. And if you're all familiar with uh, my style of video, you know that uh, the way I do it is basically this is going to be uncut, unedited, raw footage, and first-person view. So uh, you're seeing it how I see it. And this is my first time here of opening this box. Um, I haven't even read the manual but uh, um, seeing how I did the 10 inch the 12 inch should be very similar in that nature. So let's, let's go ahead and open it up and see what what, what it looks like. And uh, for all the new people out there um, my videos are very long uh, because they're not cut or edited in any way. Uh, I'll stop and then just restart and pick off, uh, pick up where I left, but uh, that usually be in another uh, uh, episode. So uh, if you get tired or bored, feel free to skip around. If if you don't really care for uh, how to set this up and adjust everything, and uh, you just want to you just want to know what I think or see the end part where everything's all set up, uh, just go to the last episode and and just watch it from there. Anyways, uh, you can always skip through or go back, uh, watch the video again, whatever, uh, click on some ads. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and get this started here. And so uh, so you guys get the full benefit of, uh, of what's going on. Okay, there we go. And so let's go ahead and open this up. All right. So, okay, let's see. Let's try to do it in a way that uh, it's a little comfortable for me here. But uh, it's always good to have some meat pads if you're working on off the garage floor. I got some carpet here that, that helps out a lot. And so let's go ahead and just. Uh, uh, you know what? I got some scissors here. Good old scissors. Let's see if they work here. Oh yeah, look at that. Every garage needs a scissor. You don't, you don't think you do, but you do. And excuse me if I, if I move my hands around. I'm trying to. I can't see the, uh, the screen of my, of my smartphone here, but I can see the edges. And so if I, if I know where the, where, where my hands are going, I know where the viewing space is. So, anyways. So let's just take off these straps. All right. So let's keep this around here. Ah, probably not. That's probably all I need it for. After that, well, I could use this as a little blade. Let's see if it, how good of a blade it works. Eh, not that great. You need a blade blade. You, this is where the blade comes in real handy. Swoop, one swoop, and we're done. Okay, so if you know what this is, it's the scissors, and you know why I have it because I didn't have to pay for it. And uh, my goal is to get a million of these. It says here stainless steel, so stainless steel blades with a plastic uh, housing to it. So far, it works great. I figure out, figure out what to do with this. Probably just smash my finger. So, have one in your garage comes in handy, especially for deboxing your new toy here. This one I had to buy. I wish, you know, I wish they'd do this for free because everybody needs one of these, and this looks super duper cheap. Uh, it's probably more affordable than the scissor uh, for them to give away. Anyways, let's open this box and see what's in it.
Okay, and of course the styrofoam packaging would be in it. Okay, so let's so let's take a look at what's what's in here. So you're hopefully you're all able to see this here. What do we got? We got uh, the dust bag. Okay, so we got a dust bag. So the dust bag with the zipper. That was also very similar or the same as uh, the 10 inch sliding compound miter saw. So there you go. Okay, excellent. We'll just put that aside. And then good old Manuel with the bushings. So uh, I might have to open him up, uh, open Manuel and take a look. So let's put, a, put the Manuel aside. This is kind of new. Uh, may hold the cords or something we'll find out and uh, oh look at this and this is I wonder if it's supposed to be bent looks to looks like it's supposed to be bent like that on purpose okay so okay And we got a, a screw and a hex wrench here. Hopefully you're all able to see that. Okay. And then of course one of these to to hold in place. Whatever you're working with. Okay. To hold in place. Whatever you're working on. Just tighten it up. So it doesn't, doesn't come off. There you go. Okay, excellent. So let's open this up and good old styrofoam packing. Alright. Woo! And just like This is probably where the flashlight comes in handy. Uh, all right, flashlight time. Okay. All right, flashlight time. So uh, here's the flashlight. Has a has a little logo on here. I don't know if you can see that. Anyways, doesn't really matter. Who cares? So I'm gonna pull you out here so you all can see. All right, so that's what comes in the box. Put the flashlight in here, opening it up. So that's what it looks like. It's very similar to the 10 inch, but it looks it looks a much longer. Um, you know, the the box, the 12 inch looks looks longer as well. Um, just just looking at it and when I carried it in it felt like it was longer so uh, mainly because probably the blade is it's longer so the sliding action would of course be longer um, but it's the same concept it's tilted sideways or or slanted sideways so it fits diagonally into the box with the styrofoam pack um, the expanded styrofoam uh, set up on the bottom as well. So we'll see if anything is damaged through this, through all this. Let's see if this is okay. All right, looks good so far. There's a cord. Okay. So there's a cord back over here. The color looks really nice. Um, as you saw from the 10 inch uh, sliding compound miter saw, it was mostly black and yellow, better than that red, that all red color, or maroon, whatever you want to call it. And so uh, those are kind of hard to find. Um, I've been going through a lot of all the Harbor Freight stores here, and uh, I can't find that 
that color scheme on the 10 inch compound uh, miter saw so um, well not anymore anyway so um, so I got here the 12 inch and the motor seems to be different the way they got it set up here from the previous models and then uh, looks like the uh, the port for the sawdust to come out is much bigger as well. So let's get a let's get a view so you don't have to turn sideways. And uh, the springs on that looks a little bit bigger as well. It's probably because it's a little bit heavier. The handle looks a little lot bigger, a little heavier duty. Um, the sides on this that support look like they had adjustable. Uh, you can adjust them to so they can be level with the uh, with your plate down here. The base plate looks really good. The markings on the on the angles look sharp. I, I noticed the mark indicator looks a lot better. Has a look, looks a little bit more accurate. You can line it up to the angle. So just initially on the 12. Um, Jumping from the 10 and, and the angle here, I guess because it's uh, double bevel, it looks like I'm not sure if that's a positive stop on the yellow marks, uh, but some good color indications. The black being 45, and then the yellows being 30 and 15 on both sides, and then zero in the middle. So that that looks kind of nice. I gotta figure out how to adjust that. Um, so far, I'm, you know, just looking at it, it looks very impressive. Um, so I'm actually glad I'm, I'm uh, I've upgraded to the 12-inch. Uh, uh, of course, it was it was more, but uh, you know, uh, considering the price point on something like this, uh, don't really mind. But I'm not sure what this is here. Looks like a loose wire of some kind. I don't know where it goes to. Looks like it goes down to here and. Uh, who knows? I'm going to have to pull it out and see it. But uh, there you go. Um, so before I take it out of the box, I wanted you to to take a look at the way I'm looking at it, everything. And uh, of course got the uh, uh, handy dandy, uh, let me see if I can, okay. Uh, the handy dandy uh, flashlight to uh, to go with it, as you see. Um, got it for free. So uh, thank you again, and you're welcome, uh, Harbor Freight. So, um, all right, so let's uh, let's take a look here and see what's uh, what's going on. Okay, uh, so let's turn my flashlight off, and then put you guys back in. All right. It is heavy. The unit itself is heavier. Let me try to remove the plastic, this plastic piece out of the way first. So I'm sorry if you can't see it, but you know I me. Mean? I like to keep the plastic because uh, I like to use it as a cover. Wondering what what the hell is it stuck on? It's stuck on something down here. Oh, well, let's just go ahead and pull it out. So there's not going to be any nice way. I'm just going to grab it and just yank it. Just pull it right out. Come on, baby. Be nice to me. Tell me you're attached to something on the bottom. Otherwise you're seeing it just the way I'm seeing it. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna put it down before I kill myself. It's sliding. Maybe I gotta tighten it up. <sighs> it 
it's uh it's it's heavier than the 10 inch i'm just trying to be nice about it so i don't See if I can turn you on your side. Pull you out that way. It's gonna be a little bit more cooperative. No, not really. Just come on out, damn you. Okay. Well, that was that was like a unnecessary struggle. Still don't know what the hell the problem was on this. <laughs> it's just a tight fit. That's all I can say. Let's just move this out of the way. So as you know, if you've seen my previous episodes here or other episodes eventually I'm gonna get to this wall and have my table and my shelving just so I can have my miter stand all right so right now I'm just working off the floor but I got my knee pads and let's uh only take this off what the hell was holding it down oh nothing okay just had to work for it a little bit so, let's take a look. Okay, it's, it's already beveled. Let's see if they lock that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have to move you guys out just to take a look at what, I, what I'm seeing already. Okay. So, basically... I want the flashlight as well. I'm getting pretty excited about this because uh, it's a pretty nice unit. And, excuse me, I'm gonna put my safety glasses on here. Okay, so it's a pretty nice unit. Um, it is obviously more than the 10 inch, but man, it looks like you're getting a lot more. Look at the, uh, look at the, so this, you're getting a larger handle on this. That looks, uh, pretty hefty. Um, this looks like the, uh, the fence adjustment, which, uh, it's great because I think I can just loosen it and then tighten it, although it does look like it moves a little bit. Um, so that's a little nice feature. We'll see how well it well it does. And then, uh, let me see, there's the, looks like that's the uh, stop over there. Excuse me. So that looks like the stop over there. Let me go ahead and just pull you out. That way I can see the screen. There we go. So let me just go ahead and pull you out. That way I can see the screen while I'm doing this with you. Okay. Yeah. Is it focusing? It's really bright right here. Sorry about that. Got to get to a better, get you to a better angle so you can see this. I don't know if it's okay. Anyways, uh, looks like this is a a 
stop here of some kind. And, uh, it's not focusing really well, but yeah, back up a little. There we go. So that looks like some kind of stop there. From there you go from hitting. I'm going to one bevel to the to the next. I don't know what's stopping the other side. Looks like it's hitting on on that angle. Uh, okay. Uh, of course, this. Uh, I'm not sure what this piece is for. Looks like it may slide. So there we go. I'm just going to wipe off anything here. This just doesn't look like it's focusing. There we go. That, that looks a lot better now, doesn't it? All right. So, uh, okay. So yeah, that that looks like it slides here. So that could be a good feature, maybe, maybe not. Um, now back to this here. That looks like the stop here for for something, but uh, I gotta move this whole thing around here. Uh, okay. And these were the adjustable sides I was talking about, how they could be adjusted. There's a wheel right there of some kind. And then, uh, of course, i got to cut this strap here. Uh, there's another adjustment right there. Uh, yeah, right, right here, as you see. Last time there, this this should have been like the uh, the lever to lift it and unlift it. Looks like it is. Okay. Yeah, that's starting to really look sharp now, doesn't it? Okay. So it looks like there's a lot of uh, a lot of things going on here. And of course, uh, this is the uh, the dial that I was telling you about. It looks a lot sharper. Um, Looks like you can get a little bit more accurate on it, and it says that's 45. So I'm um, just gonna have to believe it is. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna have to another adjustment right there. So looks like I I got a lot to to play with here. Let's see what. Okay, it's in its down position. So let's uh, let's cut it, shall we? Let's get our handy dandy scissor, which is missing a logo. So if anybody wants a logo on the scissor, let me know. I'll put your logo on here. Let's just cut this. There we go. So that's cut, and then we're just going to go over and just going to slide this out. We're going to push it down a little, of course, and then slide. So I don't know if you can see that, but it has, a, has those little things on it. And, and this is also loose, so you got to tighten this, uh, tighten the knob on this. It, it always seems to be coming out, it seems to come out from the factory loose or something. Okay, there we go, so I can just slide, okay. And then let's see how it lifts up. Okay, so that's it. Now there's some wheels right there, which was not on the previous, if you can see that right here, which was not on the previous uh, setup. Looks like it's just a little safety feature, and that is a very big blade. Um, man, 60 tooth. Uh, blade here. Uh, I believe it's still a 5 8 arbor, but I'll have to, have to verify that. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty big. Let's 
see about how the action goes here. That's locked into place, so... Okay. So let's unlock it, shall we? First of all, let me, uh, let me straighten it out. That's what's great about being on the carpet, is that... You can just drag it along. Oh, forgot that. I loosened that. So let's, uh, let's tighten that back up. Oh, let's go the other way. There we go. And that has a bigger handle, which I, which makes a big difference. It's like you. Okay, that's tight. And this is the part where you tighten where it slides. Let's loosen that up here, so we can we can slide this a little. Seems really smooth so far. Yeah, real smooth. I would expect it, you know, I would expect to, let me see if I can wipe you a little bit, I don't know if there's some kind of grease on this or, what's going on here? Just to make, I might have to wipe, could be my gloves, so if you don't mind here, I'm going to just wipe you down here. There we go. Okay. Um, what was that? Like? The uh, this the action on this is really smooth. Look, I'm just uh, I'm just gonna use just my little index finger to to move it. So that's just my index finger. Um, I'm sure with your whole hand you should be able to to grip it. And the spring on this is, I guess it's got to be strong because it's, it feels heavy to, to push down. Okay. And I guess the wheel's there to, uh, you know, so it does this, if you have your wood piece, it rolls right over it as you're cutting. And that would make sense. Um... There's a lot of things here. Um, I guess I, I should read the manual. It's a little bit more complicated, but not that complicated. It just has a lot more adjustments, it looks like. Um, as far as the adjustments on this, let's see what, what it does. It, it slides as well. Okay. So it's probably sliding for your bevel cuts. Make sure you clear your bevel. Um, matter of fact, here, let's just, let's just start it out like this. So I'm, I guess they're assuming you're going to be moving this a lot because it's a quick release right here. See that? It's a quick release. So I guess they're assuming you're going to be moving this side a lot more than uh, all the other sides here. This one is uh, not a quick release. You have to unscrew it and then move it. So okay. And so I'm wondering where the uh, adjustment is. How do you adjust the... Uh, the fence? Because as you know from last series, adjusting the fence was a big... Um, really important uh, to, get a, to get it square. And I don't see any... anything here. I don't see anything here that would show that I need to adjust the fence, but anyways, let's have a look at this. This came, this comes on it, the 10 inch piece here, uh, the 10 inch, uh, of course we, we had to screw it in. This one comes on it already and ready to go, and it's not even, I don't think it's even touching anything. You see that? Even, it's not even touching anything yet, so I guess uh, we should screw that in a little bit more until it touches something to create a tension here. Do, do we know that's locked? Okay. 
this is the release lever. Uh, let's see how it comes out. There we go. So there's a release lever. Looks like there's some intent. Some intent intentations here already. I don't know if it comes from the manufacturing that way. Okay. Of course you got your positive stops here. Alright, so let's uh let's move it around. Let's see how it feels. Oh. So far it's it's heavy. It is heavy. I'll tell you that much. It feels heavy. And then it looks like it's set up a lot better because uh, the dial indicator seems to stop. And if I look at it just the right way, it points at 15. And so let's see if, it, if there's any jiggle. Oh man, there's not any jiggling. You know, on the 10 inch, it, it just it moved around quite a bit. It had a little wiggle to it. This one just doesn't have any any wiggle to it at all. It just it's pretty solid. They got a 30, and I think they got a 31.6 here somewhere. Nope. No, there's no positive stop for that. It's just just a little indicator for it, and then 45, and. Man, it does not it does not jiggle in any way. It is uh feels like from from looking at it, it's just milled a little bit better maybe. Um there is some kind of crud or something right over here. I don't know if you could see that. Maybe I don't need this one. Um and that looks like uh some that's probably what's been getting on my camera as I'm touching the uh the camera there. There's some gump, gook, goop on that. Um, so you probably need to wipe it down a little, just to clean that off. So far, my I'm very impressed, and uh, to think uh, it's 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 more, but it's not that much more than the 10 inch, and so uh, it looks really more impressive. Okay, so they got the safety, the safety is on both sides, so there's a safety lever right here on the left side, or on the right side, that you have to push to engage, and also, on the right side as well, there's a safety button. They have to engage and then push down, or engage and then pull the trigger, which is, which is, uh, I guess I should say, which is right here. It's locked, and then you have to push down on the safety button and then pull the trigger to get it, to get the blade going. Okay, I mean this is uh, impressive so far. I haven't even turned it on yet. So, uh, but so far it looks really good. Looks like it's machined well. So, uh, so far, of course, I got to check for the square, how square everything is. Um, just to give you an idea, there, have to back up a little bit. Um, so, hold on, get my flashlight. Off. So it's it's pretty, it's bigger. It is. It's definitely bigger, but. Uh, it uh, it looks a little bit uh, more precise and precision uh, in the way it's put together. Um, I haven't checked the base yet. You know, I'll, I'll go ahead and see if the base is level, uh, squared up, and everything. But so far, from what I've seen, it uh, man, it looks good. I don't know how much I'm gonna have to play around with it like I did with the 10 inch. And there's your, okay, so there's the, that's got to be an adjustment for one side. And I wonder if there's an adjustment on the other side. Right, yep. So I know I can, 
That's going to be critical because without that, this uh, miter saw could be useless. So there's an adjustment on this side to do the 45. So let's, uh, and again, this is the handle for it. Let's, let's loosen, loosen it up. And, uh, let's get, just get it turning. Let's see where it stops. Now it stops a little short of 45 on this thing, where the dial indicator is. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Anyways, uh, the battery's getting a little low here. I may have to cut out and just uh, come back here and a little bit later. There you go. You can see it now. Um, you see it's stopping a little short of 45. And of course, I, like I said, this this right here looks like it's the stop for it. So uh, we're, we're just have to kind of play with that a little bit. It's not moving anywhere. Just gonna try to trying to get it to focus. Okay. That's focused. So let's see if we push it back and see where it goes. That's at zero. I wonder how you get it beyond z beyond zero. I don't know how you get it to, to go the other way. It's supposed to be a double bevel. It's only going this way so far. And then it's stopping. So. So far, it looks like it's on zero right there but I gotta figure out how you how it turns the other way anyways I'm getting low on the battery so um, I'm just gonna have to cut out here recharge it um, but I'll, I'll zoom out here just to give you one more look on the uh, 12 inch here just just walk around a little bit And yeah, it's it's impressive. It is really impressive. Uh, I have to say, if if you're gonna put the money into it compared to uh, some of the other ones in the market, uh, this is uh, probably one you want to get. If you look at it, it looks looks just like them, uh, but it's uh, of course less in price. Uh, who knows? Uh, probably same value or just as good. Now, if you've you seen what I did on the 10-inch miter saw, uh, you know you can get a straight cut and square. Um, you can probably do the same thing with this. Uh, looks looks really, uh, really beefy, um, and I like the color. I like the black versus the red. Um, it looks much better, in my opinion. This is something you could definitely have on the job site, and um, you know it's pretty bold. So. Anyways, uh, uh, tune in on the next episode, uh, see how I adjust it. Uh, this one's just going to be pulled out of the box and just showing you what I've noticed so far between the 10-inch um, compound miter, sliding, sliding compound miter saw versus 12-inch double bevel sliding compound miter saw. And apparently this has a laser as well, so the laser should be um, somewhere. Uh, I have no idea where the laser is. If the laser is in here somewhere. It's supposed to be mounted here on the side. Anyways. I'm trying to see if the laser is somewhere in here. I don't... I don't see a laser. Maybe it's still in the box somewhere or... Um, Unless I missed it. I 
unless this is the laser somewhere in here. But I don't I don't see it. Unless it came in with the manual. I don't see the laser. Anyways, uh gives me a good time to open the uh open Manuel up and uh have him tell me what's 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 going on here. So uh anyway, so uh, tune in to the next episode, subscribe to get the feeds as I'm uh putting the videos out and uh um hope you enjoyed it so far. So thanks a lot and uh I'll be back uh, to finish this up. Bye. And uh for all the new people out there, um my videos are very long uh, because they're not cut or edited in any way. Uh, I'll stop and then just restart and pick off, uh, pick up where I left, but uh, that usually be in another uh, uh, episode. So uh, if you get tired or bored, feel free to skip around. If if you don't really care for uh, how to set this up and adjust everything, and uh, you just want to you just want to know what I think or see the end part where everything's all set up uh, just go to the last episode and and just watch it from there anyways uh, you can always skip through or go back uh, watch the video again whatever uh, click on some ads um, but uh, let's go ahead and get this started here and so uh, so you guys get the full benefit of, uh, of what's going on okay there we go so let's go ahead and open this up. All right. So okay, let's see. Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome back to uh, another uh, episode series here. And uh, this time, uh, I got here the. Uh, 12 inch double bevel sliding compound Meyer saw. So the box is bigger. Have you seen my previous uh, episode series? You've probably seen me do the 10 inch uh, compound, sliding compound Meyer saw. And uh, so I'll put a link onto that if you want to, if you want to see that. But if you're here for the 12, uh, don't even bother. Go ahead and just uh, keep watching. And if you're all familiar with uh, my style of video, you know that uh, the way I do it is basically this is going to be uncut, unedited, raw footage, and first person view. So uh, you're seeing it how I see it. And this is my first time here of opening this box. Um, I haven't even read the manual, but uh, um, seeing how I did the 10 inch. The 12 inch should be very similar in that nature. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what 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 it looks like. Okay, what's what's in here? So you're hopefully you're all able to see this here. What do we got? We got uh, the dust bag. Okay, so we got a dust bag. So the dust bag with the zipper that was also very similar or the same as uh, the 10 inch sliding compound miter saw. So there you go. Okay, excellent. We'll just put that aside. And then good old Manuel with the bushings. So uh, I might have to open him up, uh, open Manuel and take a look. So let's put a Put the manual aside. This is kind of new. Uh, this may hold the cords or something. We'll find out. And uh, oh, look at this. And this is, I wonder if it's supposed to be bent. Looks to, looks like it's supposed to be bent like that on purpose. Okay. So it comes in real handy. Swoop, one swoop, and we're done. Okay, so 
if you know what this is, it's the scissors. And you know why I have it? Because I didn't have to pay for it. And uh, my goal is to get a million of these. It says here stainless steel. So stainless steel blades with a plastic uh, housing to it. So far it works great. I figure out, figure out what to do with this. Probably just smash my finger. So have one in your garage. Comes in handy, especially for deboxing your new toy here. This one I had to buy. I wish you know. I wish they'd do this for free because everybody needs one of these, and this looks super duper cheap. Uh, it's probably more affordable than the scissor uh, for them to give away. Anyways, let's open this box. Let's see what's in it. Okay, and of course the styrofoam packaging would be in it. Okay, so let's so let's take a look. Let's try to do it in a way that uh, it's a little comfortable for me here. But uh, it's always good to have some meat pads if you're working on off the garage floor. I got some carpet here that, that helps out a lot. And so let's go ahead and just uh, uh, you know what. I got some scissors here. Good old scissors. Let's see if they work here. Oh yeah, look at that. Every garage needs a scissor. You don't you don't think you do, but you do. And excuse me if I if I move my hands around. I'm trying to I can't see the uh, the screen in my on my smartphone here, but I can see the edges and so if I if I know where the where where my hands are going, I know where the viewing space is, so, anyways, so let's just take off these straps, all right, so let's keep this around here, ah, uh, probably not, that's probably all I need it for, after that, well, I could use this as a little blade, let's see if it, how good of a blade it works, eh, not that great, you need a blade blade, this is where the blade 